Hello, and welcome to a walkthrough of Shirk's web resources for the Winter 2013 Insight Development Grants Competition. Today, we will provide you with a brief overview on how to find all relevant online information to help you apply to our Insight Development Grant funding opportunity. Specifically, we will look at how to determine whether you and your research topic are eligible for funding through Shirk, how to create an IDG application form via Shirk's online application portal, how to navigate the IDG application form, where applicable, how to invite other scholars to participate on your project, how to create and complete the Canadian Common CV, how to attach the completed CCV to the application form, how to complete and validate your IDG form to prepare it for submission, how to submit your application to your organization's research grant office, and the procedure for final submission by your RGO to Shirk before the deadline. Before applying, you must determine whether or not your proposed project meets our subject matter eligibility rules. Go to Shirk's corporate website and click on the funding link. Just below the search for funding table, click subject matter eligibility. Carefully read the, the information to determine whether or not your project is eligible for funding at Shirk. When in doubt, contact Insight Development Grant Program staff by email at insightdevelopment at shirk-crsh.gc.ca or by phone at 613-996-6976 for more information. We will now explore how to create an IDG application form through the Research Community Portal. On the Shirk website, click Funding in the left-hand menu. Click the Insight Program hyperlink. Scroll down to access the Funding Opportunities list. Click on the Insight Development Grants link. Carefully read the Funding Opportunity description. Proceed to the Overview grid at the top of the page. In the Apply sections, you will find links for the Canadian Common CV, the CCV instructions, and the IDG application form. Let's now examine how to navigate the IDG application form. Click Application Form, which will direct you to the Research Community Portal. Select the official language of your choice. At the Welcome page, you must first create an account by clicking on create an account. Follow the steps outlined on the screen and click Create Account. You'll receive a system-generated email. In the body of that message, click on the link to confirm email. Enter your email address and password. All applicants must complete their user profile. To access the user profile page, move your mouse over Profile at the top left of the page. Once the menu appears, click User Profile. When completed, click Save Profile at the bottom of the page. When you have finished, click the Back to Welcome Page button at the top right of the page. At the Welcome page, click the Create Application button. The Application Overview page gives you access to the various components of the IDG application process. Two important features to note, the Status and Action columns. In the left-hand column, the status of that section of the application will appear. As long as a section is neither complete nor validated, a caution triangle will display. Once completed and validated, the caution triangle will change to a green checkmark. The buttons in the Action column allows you, the user, to edit the content of the application. Where applicable, inviting other scholars to participate on your project. The following item applies only to team applications. If you are submitting a team application, it is crucial to invite your team members early in the process. To invite co-applicants and collaborators, you must use the invitation function in the form. From the Application Overview page, Click on the Add Invitations button at the bottom right of the page. 
Follow the instructions in the information box and click on the Invite button. The co-applicant or collaborator in question will then receive an email providing instructions on how to accept an invitation and to complete and upload a CCV. Repeat the steps listed for each co-applicant and collaborator you wish to invite. How to create and complete the Canadian Commons CV. All team members must complete and upload a CCV. Since the CCV contains many data elements, we recommend you and your team members complete the SHRC CCV as soon as possible. Read the SHRC CCV instructions carefully. They provide step-by-step -step instructions and also include information on fields that are mandatory for SHRC according to the type of participant. For example, if a participant is academic or non-academic. The SHRC CCV instructions are available on the IDG Funding Opportunity webpage and in the Research Community Portal. You can find the CCV by searching the web for Canadian Common CV or by returning to the IDG webpage on SHRC's corporate website. Select the official language of your choice. Click Login in the top navigation bar. As a new user, you must first register by clicking the Register button. Complete the personal information form. Required fields are indicated by an asterisk on the left. Complete all required fields in the Registration Account section. Follow the prompts. Once you are on the CCV Welcome page, under CV, in the top menu bar, select Funding. From the Funding Source drop-down menu, select Shirk, then click Next. From the CV Type drop-down menu, select Shirk, then click Next. On the List of Sections page, you will notice the status icon for each section in the left-hand column. When the section is successfully complete, a green check mark will appear. If the section is incomplete, there will be a red X. Please refer to the CCV instructions regarding the fields that are mandatory for you. Once you have included all required information, click Submit. How to attach the completed CCV to the application. From the Funding CV page, click Submit. Read the consent statement and click I agree. If you want your name and CV information included in the Canadian and Provincial Directories of Researchers, click Yes. If not, click No. A message will appear stating that your CV has been submitted. It will also include your confirmation number. Click History in the top menu bar and the submission history will appear. A PDF and an XML document containing your SHRC CV has now been created for you. To download the XML file, click on the XML icon. Then follow the prompts in order to save the file on your computer. You may rename this file if you wish. Return to the Research Community Portal and your Welcome page. Find the application in question and click Open. In the section called Canadian Common CVs Uploaded of the Application Overview page, click Upload. The Canadian Common CV Upload page will appear. Under Add New Common CV, enter the title of your SHRC CV. Click Select to select your XML file. Click Open and then click Upload. Each invited participant must follow these steps in order to upload their own SHRC CCV to the application. Completing and validating your IDG application. You must complete each section of the application form. Then you must save and validate the information by clicking Save and Validate at the bottom of each page. Return to the Application Overview page and upload all relevant attachments. Once all participants have uploaded their CCV, you are ready to submit your IDG application. On the Welcome page, click Submit. Submitting your IDG application to the Research Administrator at your organization. When you click Submit, the status of your application will be marked Received by Organization, and the Research Administrator at your organization will be able to view your application, including all attachments and CCVs.
If changes are required, the research administrator will return your application and the status of your application will be marked Returned. You will then need to make the necessary changes and submit your application to your research administrator again. Submitting the application to SHRC before the deadline. When submitting your application to the research administrator, please allow sufficient time for them to review, approve, and forward the application to SHRC in advance of the deadline. Applications that, that are not forwarded to SHRC before the deadline by your research administrator will not be accepted once the deadline has passed. Please note that applicants who are postdoctoral fellows slash researchers or doctoral students may submit their applications directly to SHRC. Please consult the IDG Funding Opportunity Description for further details. This concludes our walkthrough tutorial of the Insight Development Grants application and the Canadian Common CV. We thank you for watching. If you have any further questions about the IDG Funding Opportunity, please contact us by email at insightdevelopment at shirk-crsh.gc.ca or call 613-996-6976. For technical assistance with online application forms or the CCV, please contact our online help desk by telephone at 613-995-4273 or by email at webgrant at shirk-crsh.gc.ca. Thank you.